Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interestinglife.com. You're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly and today I'd like to just have a direct chat with you about a few things that have been on my mind about YouTube and the possible future of the said YouTube in antics of myself, Dan Brown, on board good old narrowboat Tilly. Wow, well, that quickly derailed and went all weird. Anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on once again. Uh, yeah, so... There's been a few things that I've been considering recently and this isn't going to be some sort of proper focused chat. These are literally just thoughts that I've been sat down uh, going through uh, my original book, editing that for the final time. And all of today I've been reading it and rereading it and checking the commas and everything. And basically, as hopefully, if you're watching this now, already up on Amazon, the new edited version of the first ever book that I wrote will be there and available. Don't worry if you've bought it already. I think as it, well, I think this is how it works, that if you delete the file and then re-download it to your Kindle, the new file will be there. You'll know because it's got the new front cover as well, which looks something like, I don't know, hopefully it'll be on the screen now. And hopefully you like that new cover if you did in fact see it at all then. Uh, so basically I thought as I'm about to start recording the audio version of it, for the last couple of weeks I've been going through and properly editing it and my nan's had a proper go through it with a marker pen and sorted out my grammar and I know that that's something that the original Narrowboat Lad book that I wrote, it was something that I definitely suffered from because I was so keen to get it out and even though I agonised and kept cutting loads and loads of it out like I do with every book it was still my first attempt at writing a proper book and it's certainly now that I've gone through it and properly edited it needed an awful lot of work so hopefully if you've already read it and we're thinking of going through it again you'll be able to just get the new uh, file and have a look at it if you so wish or if you haven't then please do check it out links in the description as always shameless plug <laughs> anyway so yeah that's what I've been up to recently and as you may know uh, last week I was a very poorly boy so I'm well behind at the moment on the videos that I wanted to have recorded and some of the biking and boating that I wanted to get done but don't worry we're now on the move for the spring summer and autumn so there's plenty of I mean already I must have about I think 40 minutes of boating footage alone ignoring the walks up and across Pont Cassafly Aqueduct up over there and so on which we'll see very soon in these videos so there's already tons and tons of recording going on and I will hopefully now be in the best of health as I've got a few weeks, well, I've got a week off and a random day off on Easter Sunday which is the day this video will be going live. Uh, so hopefully during that time I'm going to be able to get a lot more videos sorted because what I wanted to also talk about apart from the fact that I'm also currently um, sorting out the audio version of my first ever narrowboat book again I've no idea on the details of that I'm hoping it will be out very soon I've done some practice test runs reading it out and well, that was sort of part of the going through and editing it reading it aloud and going hang on none of this sounds right whatsoever it needs 10 times the amount of commas and full stops in it so hopefully that's going to be out soon as in, in a couple of weeks sort of time but because I'm going to try and sell it through Audible, or that's the plan, I don't know how long the process will take for it to go through there, then they take... I think they take something like 60% of the actual price, which I was certainly surprised at. And also, the reason that that's an issue is because they also set the price themselves and then they put it into iTunes for you and iTunes then set the price themselves separate from Audible. So you've basically, I'll hopefully have this audio book up and running in the next couple of weeks. And if it does go into Audible and I do decide to go, yeah, that's all good, let's go for it, then I can only apologise because I don't know what the price will be. I couldn't, I literally have no control over it. I just have to submit it and hope for the best. So hopefully it won't be ridiculously overpriced or anything like that. Um, so yeah, anyway, more details on that as it uh, emerges because I literally am totally in the dark at the moment. Hopefully that's all going to turn out well and I have absolutely loved recently going through and rereading and well like you say I mean the amount of times I've read through the original manuscript now of that very first narrowboat lad book that I wrote it's it's unbelievable and I can practically recite it for the audio version without reading the actual words off the page but it has been great and the thing that I've really enjoyed with going through uh, the old book is seeing how much has changed and how many different things I've like sort of 
become basically sort of immune to in terms of the worries that I had. And even in that book, I was starting to say I, I couldn't believe how worried I was about things in the original trip back home that you might have seen my recent 40 odd minute video about. And yeah, ultimately, it's been a very pleasant experience over these last couple of weeks, minus the sickness. The next topic that I want to talk about is YouTube itself. As many of you know, I've been going on the weekly uh, video post structure of, as we've got a train going past, I don't know if you can hear that, I've been posting the weekly boat life video, the weekly bike ride video, and then the Sunday general talking to camera video. And I know that not everybody who tunes into my channel obviously expecting sort of outdoorsy stuff and boating and scenery and walking up hills and kayaking and all the rest of it. It's going to be interested in these straight to camera talking about any old nonsense videos. So I've come up with a plan that I hope that will, well, I hope it'll appease everybody. And basically I'm considering in May creating a separate YouTube channel, which will have all of these talking to camera videos on continue posting all of the videos I normally post on this current channel as the proper sort of this is the boat life channel this is the outdoors and the scenery and the walking and all that this is the proper channel and then just doing as a side project uh, just general talking to camera and I intending to try filming loads and loads of videos all in one sitting or well, not all in one sitting but basically I've come up with this idea I don't know if it'll work it might be a disaster but basically on the other channel for the people who do want to listen to me talk about absolutely nothing and witter on like a buffoon for so long <laughs> and I don't know if that, it seems there are people who want to do that so thank you very much to him so my aim is to create this other channel and then sit down and make loads and loads of videos all in one sitting talking to camera and there'll be basically a daily video for one month and then one month off and then another daily uh, another month of daily videos and we'll see how that goes and I really just want to try this as an experiment as there are some people who seem to want to hear me talk about all sorts of random stuff and goodness knows what about general topics and ridiculous childhood stories so what I'm hoping is that by keeping that as a separate channel not only will it free up the news feeds and YouTube feeds of people who only want to see the boating and the outdoor stuff but by not having so many videos posted to this channel, I can then post more so that people who are interested in the outdoor stuff can see more of the outdoor stuff that I post. And equally, anybody who does for any reason want to hear me talk about nonsense for any moments of their time will be able to then see more of that than ever before and as I say because these talking to video uh, talking to camera videos are obviously a lot simpler and a lot easier to film I can basically sit down and do like five videos in a row because it doesn't have to have any sort of over the top editing I mean if you've seen the uh, boating video of my third winter afloat even that that's really because I couldn't appear on camera because of how weird all my face had gone because of my allergic reaction or whatever it was it was just me commentating over loads of clips and photos and things like that but it did mean that there was an awful lot of editing and scrolling through all of the photos and all of the things that had gone on over the winter and getting footage off my uh, computer onto the iPad to do the voiceover and so on. And obviously something like just sitting down and talking to camera or standing up as I am now and talking to camera can mean that I can just well, obviously record a lot more of these videos and hopefully it'll be something that some of you may enjoy. If If not, then well, the experiment will be a total failure, so we'll see how that goes. But basically, what I'm hoping is it will mean literally more videos than ever and more videos that anybody who's interested in either the outdoors and the boating will be interested in. And equally, anybody who is interested in the talking videos will also be able to see a lot more. So I'm thinking with that, a nice simple idea of so many video like short videos over the weekdays and then as I've been doing recently a long talking video about I don't know childhood or whatever as the Sunday video and hopefully like I say do that every day of one month and then a month off and basically after the first month the decision will be made about what's going to happen with the future of that idea so we shall see what happens I'm sorry for this completely random jump in the video but I was going to leave this part out and as you can see now it's a lot darker outside and we've moved up to jumper territory so I really just wanted to throw this idea out there 
Now, there's many people out there who have been generous enough to send me money via PayPal. And as I say, it's always, it's unbelievable all of the support that I've had for these videos, just in general from people tuning in and commenting and spreading the word and just all of the messages that I get that, as I say, I can't respond to anymore because there's literally like just hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of unread and unresponded to messages stacked up now. Um, I try and respond to all YouTube comments. That's my main focus now. Um, but just any support is amazing. And the it's, well, the fact that and the idea that anybody would even dream of actually sort of actively supporting and send, using the PayPal button is just unbelievable. So thank you very much to all of those people. Just one side note quickly before we get into the main part of this final end to the video is uh, sometimes when I try and send a thank you message back to anybody who's used PayPal, I can't, I get a message back saying uh, email not sent, uh, email address invalid or words to that effect from various different things. And I just want to say, if you ever have uh, it's been so generous as to use the donate button, then I honestly can't, I can't thank you enough. And if you haven't had a message back, then that's why. And I can only apologise, but you know who you are and thank you very much. Um, now, I've been trying to come up with, or well, a, a few months ago, I had this idea of, ah, I wonder if I could start a club and do like a newsletter and send out different things. And I had this this sort of ridiculously elaborate idea of being able to send out this sort of global club, sort of, I don't know, Tilly club thing. Then I realised that it was just impossible. I mean, the basic logistics of trying to do that, even if there was only like, 10 people signed up to it were extremely difficult so that idea got uh, cancelled indefinitely but as many people have said to me now that I should set up something like Patreon or something along those lines and I always am like oh, I, I can't just ask for money and as I say I've always these videos I'm never gonna say oh you can't watch any of these videos unless you pay money because that's not what it's about and as I always say I've absolutely loved YouTube since YouTube pretty much began well certainly the year after it started and anyway I've it's well, I will never ever make anybody pay to look at me talk about nonsense. So I just wanted to say that as a side thing first. But I've been considering the idea of the former club idea, setting up something like Patreon where even if like people could literally sign up as a one dollar a month thing and then I could write, say, a I don't know, one and a half thousand, two thousand words a uh, sort of blog post or newsletter or something, just general writing. Um, every month that would go out to those people and I don't know it's just something that I'm trying to think of like a subscription book almost and I've been coming up with a few ideas and there's been a few suggestions that people have had uh, speaking of suggestions any topics that you would like me to talk about when I do set up the second separate channel please do send me a message or leave a comment of random topics to cover uh, but this Patreon idea I've been playing with of setting that up uh, sometime soon, like again, sort of by the end of April. The basic principle behind this Patreon sort of subscription club idea thing is that it's completely optional and it doesn't interfere with the videos or anything at all like that. And everybody can keep watching these videos because I certainly I don't think I would ever give myself a dollar to uh, well, for the sake of reading me write some more words about boats and goodness knows what else. But... For anybody who did want to support me, I've come up with another idea which I will get to at some point in the future if this idea does go ahead to try and actually say thank you in a much better, more meaningful way than sending out an email uh, when people donate and so on. I want to actually, I've, well that's what I can't, I've never felt comfortable with on stuff like the donations of... I get a donation, it's like, wow, this is incredible, and then I send a thank you email, and I write them all individually, but it's not enough, and I want to, if anybody's willing to support me in that way, and thank you to anybody who is and has done, I can't thank you enough, but I want to thank you more actively by hopefully giving you something that would be at least halfway decent, and something for even just a couple of minutes you could at least enjoy, rather than just writing an email and saying, thank you, yeah, great, right, these are my ideas I've got coming up, I hope you'll enjoy them. So that's something that I'm thinking of. 
and just basically as a way to help support these videos because YouTube is I I understand fully and as I say I've been on YouTube for a long long time long before you could ever make any money whatsoever off videos and I'm more than well aware at this point that it's extremely unlikely that YouTube will ever be something that is a sort of profitable like wow yeah look at this you could live off these earnings for me personally and there's certainly some people who make a pretty penny but that's not going to be in my future it's like as I say if I can cover the cost of this laptop within one year of me purchasing this laptop I'll be more than happy with my YouTube earnings which again is all up in the air so I've come up with this idea that I don't know perhaps you'll hate it and you'll say I'm a sellout and so on but please leave your thoughts on this in the comments below and I will see what I can do to hopefully make something worth your while and if I can come up with a way to support these videos and as I say I'm already intending as of May to post more videos than ever literally a daily uh, talk video on another channel and then more videos of boating and outdoors stuff on this channel and like I say I just really would absolutely love to try and come up with a way that I could actually support and do this more properly with better equipment so maybe in time if it actually went well um, and obviously one day maybe just as I've talked about, go off down the canal on a big adventure and fetch all of the incredible video diaries and things like that, that that would also entail. But really, I just wanted to throw the idea out there and see what people thought. And as as you can see, the fact that this is a separately recorded thing, this is how awkward and how shy I am when it comes to this sort of thing. But like I say, I don't want it to be like people are going oh yeah, he's a sellout and he wants us to give him money for nothing. I want to try and at least do something that even just for a moment will make you think, oh, you know what, that's actually not too bad. <laughs> but again, if you don't think I'm worth a dollar a month, then I'm more than happy to accept that and I don't blame you whatsoever. Anyway, that's just a couple of ideas and a few things and plans that I've been thinking about. I hope that you will, I don't know, take kindly to them or maybe have other suggestions. As I say, please leave comments in the description below, in the uh, comments, oh my goodness me, leave comments in the comments below. I've gone to pieces because I've been trying so desperately uh, to sort of not sound like a total sellout in this last section. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Please do leave any comments and suggestions in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos for my proper videos where I'm actually doing stuff and showing you lovely scenery and going boating and so on rather than just talking about videos at you. Uh, as always though, feel free to subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Feel free to like the Facebook page or even add me personally on Facebook and Twitter for loads of photos and random updates from Life Afloat. And of course, check out my books available for the Kindle. Search Amazon for The Narrowboat Lad or find links to everything just mentioned in the description below. Until the next time, keep it boatworthy, have a fantastic day and farewell.